This is Bruce Jansen for IMNG Medical Media at the American College of Cardiology meeting, where Dr. Arjun Ghosh of London has presented uh, new thinking about the meaning of blood pressure before midlife. Uh, tell us about what you've discovered. Um, our study actually is the longest running birth cohort study in the UK and we followed up people for over 60 years. And um, what we found was those people whose blood pressure was rising the fastest from the age of 30 onwards till they were last measured at 60 to 64 years of age, they actually had the heaviest hearts. And as we know, heavier hearts or an increased left ventricular mass is independently associated with um, heart attacks and strokes. So our findings are actually quite staggering because the rise in blood pressure wasn't just for those people who were hypertensive. You know, those people with faster rises of blood pressure for any blood pressure level, both high and low, these had the most, you know, the heaviest hearts later on down the line. So it's a fundamental new approach to, you know, assessing those people who are at risk of um, cardiovascular disease. So it's not just the blood pressure number, but the trajectory. Absolutely. At the moment, um, if somebody was to go to their physician, um, especially if they're young, uh, if their blood pressure doesn't reach a magical number of 140, 90, then they often wouldn't receive any treatment or any medication, especially if they don't have any other pre-existing conditions like diabetes or kidney disease. But um, what we're seeing is that you know this may not be correct because you know, not for high levels of blood pressure, for any level of blood pressure in our study, the faster the blood pressure was rising, you know, the damage was taking place. Uh, how are you going to determine uh, whether there needs to be a change in clinical practice? Yeah, I mean, our study is an observational study, and um, for this to be translated into clinical practice, we need a clinical trial. But um, our study is the first step forward in formulating such a trial, and we've shown this evidence that this is a question that needs to be answered, and it's very relevant to day-to-day -day practice. You know, at the moment, a billion people worldwide suffer from high blood pressure, but we never actually take into account how quickly their blood pressure is rising. So we don't know how big the problem is that needs to be you know, looked at. And would a clinical trial need to have hard endpoints or could it be echocardiographic measurement of heart size? In our observational study, we looked at the increase in left ventricular mass or how heavy the heart is. Now that independently is associated with cardiovascular morbidity and mortality. So that's not a secondary endpoint, that is independently associated with cardiovascular death. Um, ideally, you would want to cut uh, harder endpoints maybe, such as directly leading to death. You know, that could be done as well, but you know, it's an independent risk factor as well. So stay tuned. There will be, uh, there'll be further developments in this area. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. The, the other thing that we found which was very interesting was the, the effect of treatment of high blood pressure. You know, we found that um, even when somebody's being treated for high blood pressure, even if their blood pressure comes back into the normal range, those people who've never been treated for high blood pressure, they have a lower um, heart size compared to those hypertensives who've been on treatment. So, you know, your blood pressure medication can normalize your blood pressure, but the damage to your heart size, you know, it's already been done. And um, we don't know why that is, but it's possible that this current watch and wait policy, where we're waiting for the blood pressure to cross a certain level before treatment is started, in that interim period, something irreversible may happen you started on treatment, your blood pressure comes back to normal, but the damage has been done. So this also requires you know, to be addressed.